If I see you get up, the radio goes right off. Hey, now I turn it on. It takes just a few moments for the tubes to heat up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the BBC in London. In a world where owning a radio was strictly forbidden, one man found a way to bring good news to his people. He made it up. Yesterday, Churchill addressed the Polish people. In Polish? You want the latest news or don't you? Shh. Overnight, a few simple words. The Russians are at Pizanica. Gave them a reason to hope. They're sending tanks. Tanks? Under massive air cover. Did he tell you about the front line? Has he heard anything about the stock market? And an ordinary man. Jacob Hyam may not be the messiah, but he could be a prophet. Became a leader. My name is Jacob Hyam. The Jacob Hyam? I beg you, destroy that radio before the Germans find out about it. I don't have a radio. Since Mr. Hyam has shared information with us, there has not been a single suicide in the entire ghetto. You gotta hang on in there. The Russians are 400 kilometers away. I think he tells these stories just to get attention. At least he's tried to give these people some hope. When I started to make up those things, I almost believed them. You'll never see the Russians, huh? So what are those, then? That's a wonderful medicine you have. I admire what you're doing. I really do. Mr. Churchill, I would like you to bring us up to date on the events around Bezanica. Russians aren't coming, are they? Can I lie to you about something like that? Academy Award winner Robin Williams. You started this, and now you have to go on. Jacob the Liar. Let's only hope that your lies were true. <laughs> 